Hello everybody, this is Yannick Chauvin again, and we're doing a video tutorial today on non-destructive dodging and burning. Now if you're not familiar with dodging and burning, I invite you to look it up on YouTube or on Google, and, uh, but I'll briefly tell you what it's about. It's about using a tool in Photoshop to lighten certain areas of an image and or darkening certain areas of an image. Dodging is for lightening up, and burning is for darkening areas of an image. So there you go. You will find those tools on the palette here, right here. Uh, if you hold your mouse down, it gives you the title Dodge Tool, Burn Tool, and these are the two tools. Now, the reason why um, I'm showing you another way of doing this um, is because being a stock photographer, um, I tend to enhance my images with some dodging and burning once in a while when I see the need for it. Um, and the stock sites sometimes will refuse those images due to either artifacting or image quality. And now, if you're looking at the image at 100% and you're using it for personal purposes or even printing them up, uh, it won't really matter whether you use the classic way of dodging and burning or the non-destructive way that I, that I will be showing you right now. But for us stock photographers, um, when we have agencies that are being extremely picky on quality, we have to find ways to enhance our images and have them accepted at the same time. So I searched the web and found a tutorial on non-destructive dodging and burning on one of my favorite sites, DP Challenge. Uh, this tutorial was posted a few years back by Monique Newton from Australia, and I just loved it. It was a great, great tutorial, and I figured I'd uh, bring it back to life uh, in video mode this time. So again, thank you, Monique, and uh, let's move on. Now, the first thing we need to do to make this uh, non-destructive dodging and burning is to create a duplicate layer. Sorry, not a duplicate layer, a new layer. And we can do this in two ways. We can go here in the layer, in the menu on top, layer, new, layer. And this dialog box appears. And we'll cancel it. The other way you can do it is, uh, let me bring the layers palette here, is by clicking, uh, holding the Alt key down and clicking on the new layer here. And it'll bring up the same dialog box. All right? Whichever way you prefer to do it. I like shortcut keys, so I'm using it that way. We'll name it Dodge and Burn. Now what's really, really important is the layer mode. We're going to go down and select Soft Light. And now the menu, and now the box here changes to give us the option of a 50% gray layer. And that's what we want. That's really, really, really important. So we need to click that. Remember, Soft Light and then clicking the box and clicking OK. Now bringing the layers palette back, you'll see that it created this 50% gray layer on top of our image, but since it's on soft light mode, it hasn't affected our image as of yet. What we need to do to affect the image is to darken that layer up or lightening up. And how we're going to do that is by using our brush tool and uh, black and white as the colors to do that. Now let me move that out of the way. All right. Now our brush tool is right here. What's important is to make sure that you have black and white here as your foreground and background color because we'll be switching from both. If they're not pure black and white, you can always click on this little icon here and it'll bring it back to black and white. We'll start with uh, black as the foreground color, the color we'll be using so that we can uh, burn our way through this image. Uh, non-destructively, or in other words, darken it up. What I'll be doing is increasing my brush size, make sure it's a soft brush as well, and I always like to start at around 25% opacity, but for the purposes of this video and we want to go faster, I'll go to 100%. How's that? And you'll get an idea of how this works. There we go. Now, 100% means that I've maxed out my burning options on this 50% gray layer. Um, and I'll, I'll show you in a few seconds how to make this even darker. But first of all, let's dodge. Now, to dodge, 
we need to switch to the white color. And uh, what we'll do is uh, I will not put 100% this time. Now lower it down a little bit, lower the brush size, and just bring out some highlights in the hair, maybe down here, uh, maybe on the hand here a little bit, on the shoe, on the coat, and there you go. This is just an example. Um, and let's say this is uh, what you're looking for. You've just completed your dodging and burning. Now let me show you what the layer looks like after dodging and burning in this way. Now I'll just select the layer and you can see the complete black and certain areas of lighter that I've used on my white with my white brush and that has uh, dodged if you want uh, parts of our images. What's great is that we can hide that layer and we can see our bottom layer which is our image and that has not been touched so it has not been destroyed, if you want. Now, if it's not dark enough for you, there are two things, or light enough, let's say if you're going on the other extreme, you can always duplicate this layer by right-clicking and selecting from the menu Duplicate Layer. And you can call it anything you want. It puts Copy by default, and there you go. Now, if that's too dark, you can always lower the opacity to what you feel is good, and then you can see how it works. Now, of course, that'll affect the light areas as well. Now, what I suggest instead of doing that to get more control is just to do a new layer again. So Alt key going down here and just calling it uh, D and B2. Again, selecting soft light, clicking the 50% gray option. OK. And now we have a new layer to work with. and uh, going to burn and increasing the brush size and you can start over to darken up areas that you want. Now I'm just playing around here just so you can see how it works. And this uh, method is great. It, uh, the stock photo sites, most of them anyway, uh, will accept images this way and will not refuse them for image quality uh, or artifacting. Uh, compared to regular classic dodging and burning. I hope this uh, helped you out a little bit. Um, stay tuned for more video tutorials. I'll be showing you in the next video how to darken up a blue sky without using polarizer filters or neutral density filters. Until then, have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.